There's a world at war Caught in suffering Silent casualties Oh God, grant us peace In these sleepless nights I can hardly... The despair that we have is in our division, but the hope we have is in our mission to be reconciled. The despair we have is in the bigotry that divides us, and the hope we have is the grace that makes us all equals. The despair is in our being invisible to each other, and the hope is in seeing each other through the eyes of God. All the love dares us to see, we'll all be free. After Charlottesville, and uh, I have a good friend who was there on the ground, and I got a text from somebody saying that he was missing. And, um, and, you know, we were really deeply concerned about what was happening yes. in the space. And the church has to be bigger, it has to be better than that. And that, um, and, and so we can't be silent anymore, we have to do something. For the most part, as a white person, I'm able to sort of get the sorrow that leads to identification with someone else's sorrow, with the sorrow of a different community, but I don't get the sorrow that leads all the way to repentance, which is a change of mind, which is a change of direction, which is a change of agenda. Part of what it means to be black in America, it's to bury that feeling, um, that anger, uh, that sorrow in some ways. So I'm not afraid of the conflict, I'm afraid there won't be enough of it. What I'm hoping out of this experience is that we'll take on a new challenge, that we'll take on some new work, that we'll take on even some new opinions as an act of love to someone that we care about. Well, I loved it. I loved it. I walked out of it thinking, I wish we could just do this every week. Everybody was very warm and welcoming. I felt like so much genuine joy in the room. It was great to be a part of. And I think that you said when you spoke, the segregated way that we do Sunday service now is not a good preparation for heaven. <laughs> Something along those lines. And being there, it felt more like this is what the Bride of Christ is supposed to look like. Like today, this day, we're just a little bit closer to what she's supposed to be like. They loved it. There's a lady that's like, like, let's do this again. Just, just loved it. Like this is what church is supposed to look like. Love casts out that kind of terror that causes you to flee. Love moves us towards something and fear moves us away. And when we love something, we move toward it. And when we're afraid of something, we move away from it. And that love causes us to revere something, fear causes us to reject that something, right? Love causes us to hold on, fear causes us to push away. This is where these winding roads have led. I can see a day. So, are we moving backwards? Are we getting worse? Yeah. Can't be done in the I think a lot of people are talking, a lot of people are protesting. I don't think many people are listening. If I validate your experience, that means my experience is broken and wrong. No, it doesn't. It just means that I had a different experience. My fear is being offensive. You know, I don't know if it's appropriate to ask this question, but if I don't, how will I ever know? The, the easiest way to get people around the table is to say, what are, our, what are our similarities? But the first thing that white people do is to say, yeah, right, it's similar. I don't know what all the fuss is about. So we heal a lot yeah. just saying, we messed up. We have sinned. We are sinning now. We have sinned and our ancestors have sinned. We come from a long line of people who have gotten it wrong. Why would I be punished or disliked because of something my ancestors did? For me to be 
offering repentance. I'm sorry that it happened. I don't have to take that blame on me. I didn't do it. We as a collective people need to be working towards change. The idea of just a sit down open discussion is a real rarity. I mean, I've loved being together with you guys. Yes. Yeah. This, is this nice. new friend. I know, I like it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But outside of this, what does this look like? Make, yeah. Making it bigger. One of my friends is a therapist, mm. and he said, like, you can't let something go unless you hold it. Mm. Like, mm. you always say, let it go, let it go, but you can't, you have to pick it up. So, like I don't know, we gotta pick it up. Know. We gotta be able to touch it and hold it as long as we need to. Father God, thank you so much for this opportunity for us to talk about those uncomfortable topics. Our hearts are open, our ears are opening. Just this family is a wonderful experience, and we thank you for this opportunity. Amen. Amen. God bless. Take a deep breath, say a little prayer, and jump. Just don't miss out on any experience because of fear. Take the plunge, it's worth it. Imagine us pursuing reconciliation by demonstrating the overwhelming, never ending, reckless love of God, not just for him, but for us. This will be the day.